What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope you guys are having a great Thanksgiving Eve. I hope everybody is where they need to be and, or getting there soon and getting there safely. Um, I'm working on getting everything together for tomorrow. We're going to be live streaming during the Lions game, and we're going to try and follow all the... But why, why are you make the stank face? Okay, but it's football. Okay, well, maybe some people want to see the Bills. You know, they're making the stank face and stuff. Man, I, I can't wait to get out of November, man. This stuff's getting crazy in here. I feel like, you know, the, the abominable snowman and stuff all is gray. Uh, I want to trim it down. My wife's like, I kind of like it. You, you're looking wild. It's like, oh, Lord, here we go. All right, so. Tomorrow, we play on Thanksgiving, the first game that Daniel Jones has ever played on Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's going to be interesting because he has not one, not two, not three, but four offensive linemen that are out. And mind you, I say that we need to pay back the Washington commanders. Um and but you say, what are you talking about? What are you talking about the commanders? Um, as much as we don't like the commanders, they did us a favor, a huge favor. I don't know if you guys realized it or not, but they brought the Eagles back down to earth. You know, my home team, my loyalty. I'm at Uptown Royalty. We fight for all DC. Who are we? My speech facts. Yeah, the left hand went up against the Eagles. They did us a favor. They helped us out because that gave us some hope that we didn't lose pace with them when we lost to the Packers. It did. And so now it's up. You know, we, we should do the same thing for them because right now they're sitting in the eighth spot in the playoff chase. They're behind San Francisco. If we beat the Giants, they get a little step closer. Because then they play the Giants, they'd be actually playing for a playoff position. Yeah, they might be able to snatch that chain off Daniel Jones the way we snatch that chain off Kirk Cousins. But anyway, back to Daniel Jones because they are beat up. And by, mind you, this is going to be a rough stretch for the Giants because they've got us followed by the commanders followed by the eagles followed by the commanders so this circular firing squad is going to be going all over the place um, with these guys and it's going to be interesting to say the least um, here but for daniel jones now now here's what's interesting because i thought for sure that we were going to be destroying daniel jones last time um, with our defensive front and stuff, you know, uh, we had Lawrence Taylor who was going to be in the stands. Uh, Micah Parsons, you thought he was going to go off. Micah Parsons didn't get any sacks, got a lot of pressures. In fact, the team only got two sacks that game. Um, that game and Green Bay, both of them had two sacks everywhere else. We had like four or more sacks in each of the games. So we did not do that much damage to Daniel Jones that game. However, He's missing tight end Daniel Berenger, offensive lineman uh, Joshua um, Edzua with the neck, offensive lineman John, John Fanilico, neck. Um, he's missing offensive lineman Shane Lomax, and he's also missing Evan Neal. That's not what you want to have happen when you're about to face the Dallas Cowboys in a pass rush. Um, it could get ugly. Now, the good news for us is there is no other game for them to cut to in case the Cowboys go ahead and, and you know handle the business like they did last week. Now, I will say this. Be careful. Trap game. I know they've got a 6-3 and three record, the same record as we, or 7-3, and three, excuse me. Seven and three records, same as us. But seven and three for them and us, I don't think is the same. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I just don't see it being the same. However, it is the NFL where from one week to the next, 
you can go from the outhouse to the penthouse. Now, if we can get this victory here, this would go a long ways. This would be huge. Um, also, now, now let me also put in here for the Giants. They're also missing quarterback uh, Andre Jackson. Um, who else do they have out? And quarterback Fabian Monroe. They got two quarterbacks out. Doubtful, nobody. Questionable, uh, Jason Pinnock. Wide receiver, Richie James. Uh, Andrew Thomas, offensive line. And Tyree Phillips. Damn. So you got four out and two questionable. Damn. This might get really, really ugly for poor Daniel Jones. Um, I, I almost feel bad for him. I, I almost feel bad for him. But you know what? He got a whole lot more money than me, and he's getting paid to be out there and taking that stuff. So that's where we are. I Hopefully, we can keep the offense going, which is right now the seventh-rated offense for the totality of the season. But through the course of the last few games, the Dallas Cowboys have been kicking ass. Um, basically, 35.4 points a game for the last four. And um, I look to see them continuing that pace tomorrow. I think we can get 30 points tomorrow. I just think we can. I, if we don't, then there's something wrong here um, with us. Um that offensive line being hurt, the wide receivers that have been hurt. I mean, the, the Giants have just been completely decimated. The only thing they're going to be able to have are, is Barkley running and maybe Daniel Jones. Come on, Danny. Run it, Danny. Don't fumble it. Don't fumble it. Oh. I just said this thing. Don't fumble it. Rasheed. Let's go. Rasheed, look. You know you're – hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Poor Rasheed. You know – Mm. I feel bad for Rashid. Although they do have a I man, they got a winning record. They're seven and three. I don't feel bad for Rashid. What? Why do we get a wide receiver? Why do we get a wide receiver? <laughs> That's a good pick. That's, uh, it, it gets me every time. It gets me every time. Um, hopefully, they're not getting a wide receiver as in Odell Beckham Jr. Cowboys put a full court press on trying to get him. Um, I don't think there's been a report in the last four hours or so. So, I don't know. Maybe things have gotten cold. Anyway, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And um, I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Stop you didn't see it went all the way down to zero. They didn't call nothing. Now they're going for it again. It should be five yard penalty. Wow. What are they doing with this shit? Yeah, 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 Philly. Philly. Ain't no Philly. Wait. Philadelphia. <laughs> Philadelphia cream cheese. That's what I'm about to call them for. Well, the man. Philadelphia cream cheese. Fucking bullshit, bro. Don't get fucking red. <laughs> Philadelphia cream cheese. And you didn't call it the late game. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God, Bill. I fire his ass. Oh, my God. Ain't no fucking way. Oh, wow. They might as well just at this point they might as well just kick the field goal and just oh end my the God. game. Let it run down, kick the field goal and win the game. Holy shit! Holy mother! Philadelphia cream cheese.